Hello? Yo. What up? Uh, okay, so, as you know, there's this guy who's buying a shit ton of watches from us. Right, I saw that. Eight watches? Uh, uh, Date 8 Olive, yeah. I don't think we've been paid for it. Which one? This, uh, I guess uh, whoever sold the green Olive Date 8. Nobody sold it. Yeah, I don't know why they're saying it sold. I thought that watch was here. I have it. No, I have that with me. If someone doesn't, if he doesn't take it, I have it sold already. Okay. Okay, so you've got eight watches, and this is in LA. Yeah. You, you well, if he's gonna if he's gonna commit to those, let me know quickly because I've got. Also, you should offer him the AP two six three three one. You should offer him the platinum baguette day date that I have. Offer him, offer him this uh, yellow gold Daytona I have, the Seiko. Hey guys, welcome to a Lux Report on YouTube. Some crazy news coming out of Timepiece Gentleman. Anthony Ferrer published an announcement on his Instagram page, and it says the following. Everyone, Marco and his security detail just got robbed at gunpoint in LA, and 10 watches worth about 1.1 million US dollars were stolen. He is okay. Also continues and says, the dealer he was with is being taken into custody on suspicion of this being a setup. And the post continues, he says, on the following page, I will post a picture of seven of the watches along with the serial numbers. And he says, the watches all had uh, the warranty cards with them. If offered, please reach out. Kind of confused why he only gives seven and not all ten. But um, continuing on, we have a picture here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Picture of seven of the watches that uh, were apparently stolen at gunpoint. And he continues. He uh, shows a picture. Um... It says, please share anywhere you can. You got a Rolex Daytona. Um, it's saying stolen. He says he's offering two hundred and fifty thousand dollars reward to anyone who provides info that leads to the arrest and conviction of apparently the four guys involved in that robbery. Also shares a photo. And he claims that this is the dealer that they suspect set Marco up. He hasn't shown any uh, full evidence of that. He just says that they are suspected. Uh, he says uh, he was the dealer was wearing a um, full diamond date just that was not taken during the robbery and excused himself to the restroom just minutes before it happened. And of course, going to the restroom just before a robbery takes place, it is questionable, but hey, it could be, uh, you know, wrong timing. Um, who knows? He hasn't really given much details regarding why he suspects that this is the man. Just says, he just say, basically says, this is him. So considering all of this that Anthony has come out with, do you feel sorry for them? Considering their past constant scammy antics and poor attitude and huge ego? And the insurance will most likely not pay out due to the pieces being taken out of the store. And did Anthony not learn from his past car insurance incidents? You thought you would have thought he would have learned regarding insurance. Um, this, I'm sure his future insurance premiums will go through the roof after this um, if he can even get insured. He really needs to think twice 
before he puts most of his um, stuff all over social media. And as we've all seen, he shares most of everything. Um, stuff that we, sh we shouldn't really be seeing, he just puts it out there without thinking twice. He thinks all, um, all exposure is good exposure. Doesn't matter what it is, good, bad, ugly. If people are talking about him, he thinks it's good because he's a marketing genius. And on his Instagram, Anthony has already accused the dealer they were going to sell to as being in on it with apparently not supplying any evidence other than the fact that the police took, took that dealer in for questioning, which they would probably do no matter because he was at a scene of a robbery. Um, so even if there was evidence or not, they would, I'm sure, question everybody at the scene or anyone that's in the issue. And where are the watches? Are they long gone? Are they sold already? Are they passed from hand to hand, already shipped out on their way to Hong Kong, China, Europe, even Japan? Is this the whole story? With these guys, anything is possible considering their past antics. And I'm sure you will agree, most of us who have seen those antics would not trust him at all. People have been predicting this for some time now. They've warned him, saying, be careful, you're showing too much on social media, you're being a big ego, big Mr. I am. Um, there's videos of you not being very careful about your stock, um, uh, carelessly flexing the watches on videos with no security, and of course Anthony's douchebag attitude makes him a bigger target. And also we can see from some of his shared posts that he likes to save money rather than doing things the right way. He uh, brags that he was uh, picking up almost $500,000 worth of watches from a brand new client. That is someone he wanted to meet in person. But he'd rather save the money. He didn't want to spend $1,200 for it to be shipped via armored car. And that is a big problem. You're taking the risk of meeting somebody brand new that you've never met before and meeting them with, you're, you're having on you $500,000 worth of watches, meeting somebody brand new, and you don't want to risk using the secured way. And it's not just once, twice he's showing on here, I'm sure many other times. And... Even in his past videos, showing him selling watches out in the open on the street. It's pretty crazy. This is a developing story. It just happened last night. What do you think about it? Is this antics from Anthony ever going to stop? Of course, I do not condone anyone getting into a robbery. Um, I, I don't condone anything that's happened. Um, I, I, I give remorse to anyone that's obviously been robbed at gunpoint. Um, it's just with Anthony's past antics, I'm sure you can agree. We have so many questions. And time will tell what is the real story, what's happened, who is really involved, and what's really going on. What do you think about it? Is the dealer at fault, this new dealer? Let me know your feelings and thoughts in the comment section below. And please subscribe to Lux Report. Please click on the bell icon 
to receive all notifications on all the latest happenings in the watch world.